for all the AI and BI and all the other amazing tools out there, sometimes there's some old school Excel tricks that still amaze people and they're not aware of. So here's a quick one about creating multiple pivot tables from one pivot table. The use case here being we've got credit card data, we've got managers who are in charge of the card holders and the managers need to review the transactions. Okay, and one way would be doing filtering and copy pasting. Oh, too long. Okay, so firstly, let's just do a quick X lookup. So look up the credit card number. All right, in this list, click on there, control space bar, comma, bring back the card holder name, control space bar, and if there's no match, put the word missing. Okay, enter. Great. You can see this one is missing because that code doesn't exist. All right, so that's holder. And you can even do a quick count if. So column A. Okay, and I can use my little keyboard color here, format not zero, which is just a conditional formatting. Okay, so there's one there. All good. Right, then we want to bring back our manager. Let me just insert a column so we don't start bashing in and getting very confused. Uh, so copy paste and then swap out the word card holder with manager. Beautiful. And then drag that across just as another little sense check. Okay, great. So there we've got our data set up. Beautiful. And now we pivot table it. So table, summarize with pivot table. Okay, on a new worksheet, all good. And I've got, I tend to lay out my pivot table window like this now. You can change the field settings. So I purely want, uh, let's go amount in the values, but then everything else is gonna be in the rows. So date, vendor. And you'll notice that as I'm dragging these things in, I'm not getting that horrible nested um, information because I've defaulted my pivot table to be a tabular layout. So under design, you can go report layout, repeat item labels, show in tabular form, do not show subtotals. Get it all set up like you really want it to, okay? And then you can also go to options here, okay, and turn off auto fit, etc. But then under file options and settings options, okay, under data, you've got edit default layout for pivot tables. So once you've got a pivot table looking like you want, you can actually import that and you can set that as your default. Okay, but I also want to turn off these different headings here, which is a bit weird. So uh, row headers off as well. Great, so then what do I do? Okay, manager is gonna be put into the filters panel and this is the trick, this is the trick. Rather than filtering for every different manager, okay, there they are. All we do is we go to pivot table analyze, go to options, show report filter pages. Click on it, based on manager, off we go, and as you can see, it's now just created a separate page for each manager. Way easier than copy pasting, and also the beauty of this is, you know, once we actually add some new data in here into sheet one, this could be being pulled in with Power Query, just refresh, and all those sheets update. There you go, really useful tip. Just breaks out a filter page into all the different pages for analysis. And it's refreshable. So one simple data, refresh all, and all the pivots will update. There you go. Doesn't have to be fancy, just has to be Excel. All right, catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.